Hi, in this demo I will show to use APE, a plus meta editor, to analyze a pair of PCR primers. So first go to uh, open APE, go to file, open, open the sequence file. In this case, we first start with the pmsh2.seq file. So this is the plasmid uh, DNA file that carry a uh, msh2 gene. Now then we go to the assignment. See, uh, the first question is to say we are given the following pair of PCR primers, primer alpha and beta, and the question asks what's the size of PCR product of this primer using the pmsh2 plasma sequence uh, as a template. So let's first uh, select the sequence and copy it. And you may find this sequence on Moodle and you just highlight and uh, copy it. And then go to uh, APE. Then go to uh, Edit, Find. And let's paste the first sequence. And make sure also find the reverse complement string is, is checked. Usually by default is checked. Then click Find Next. There. And you, you can see the sequence is AATT is not here, it's actually TTAA, it's, it's GGAG on this side. So this is a reverse complement. This sequence is found on the reverse complementary strand of the plasmid. So and then we close this, go to a features, new feature, and this is primer alpha, and we click reverse complement. This is very important. Pay attention here. This is reverse complement strain. So we check IEV hyphen COM reverse complementary, and the color it should be uh, uh, pick the blue. Uh, so, and uh, with let's pick five for the moment. Okay, and then we found uh, the second primer. This primer beta highlight. Copy, go back to APE, edit, find, paste, and next. Okay, the sequence now is here. TC, GC, all the way to TDT. So this is on the sense string. So we go to a feature again, new feature. This is primary beta. This one is on the same direction so this 503 from the sense strength so we click OK and this time if you look for the uh, oh, make sure this is a circular and then go to a graphic map now you see primer alpha goes this direction from a beta goes this direction and the first question asks us what's the size of the PCR product of this uh, uh, Primer going to generate. So, okay, so this is basically the result we have. Uh, our, whoops, sorry, our first uh, alpha is going to go to this direction. Primer beta goes uh, the other direction, the error indicator direction. So, the pr PCR product is basically this part of the plasma and we just need to estimate the size of this PCR product product we know the size of this plasma is 9.3 kb and the primary position of this is about 4600 to about uh, 5800 so this is about 5797 uh, minus for six in the middle, we first calculate how much this fragment is. It is a little easy. Four six three nine, and about five point eight. This is about one point two. So, so we know this this gap is part about one point two kb, and the red then the re remaining part of this uh, fragment will be. Uh, 9.3 minus 1.2 uh, 
is about 8.1 kb. There, yeah, that's the first question. And I'm going to look at the second question. So there, uh, primer alpha and beta, does this PCR product uh, can covers the uh, cover the mutation region in plasmid PMSH2 unknown one? And so that sequence is also given to you. So let's go back to APE. Let's then go to file, open again at the PMSH2 unknown one. And we just need to first find out where the mutation is. Go to tools, align the two sequences. And uh, going to pick the wild type at top, mutant at the bottom. Uh, scroll down. There, you will see the mutation in the in the region thirty eight hundred. So let's go. Oh, uh, we just need to label this mutation on the map. Uh, make sure you go to the PMSH MSH two plasma sequences, and then we going to find the mutation. Uh, Fine. Uh, well, select from as we know this is 3800 to 3800. Okay. So that's a feature, new feature, and we know this is the unknown uh, P uh, unknown one mutation. Uh, this time I don't want to put an error there, so I'm going to remove the error. I also want to make sure this one is uh, going to pop up, so I'm going to put uh, 15 there. And this time, if you do the map, you will see the unknown mutation right there. Now, it's probably nice to also put the MSH2 coding sequence there. So, oh, uh, I need to first select. So, the MSH2 coding sequence is uh, 3378 to 6302. Feature new feature, which is MSH2 coding sequences, gene CDS or coding sequences. Uh, I'm going to make this a little smaller, width make this smaller, and the color I'm going to pick the red. Okay, and then look at the graph. Okay, now this is the graph we have. So the red is the MSH2 coding sequence, there that's a mutation. It has, and uh, those are the primers. And basically, this is what the graph is. Uh, so the we have the we have the mutation here, and the primer alpha, primer beta, and and the product is this region. So the mutation here will be covered by this PCR product. So that's for the second question. And the rest of the questions are similar to this. You can uh, answer, figure out on your own.